Good morning, good morning everybody. Sorry I'm a little delayed. A little delayed here, but no worries, no worries. I uh I forgot to put my my zone on. Forgot to put the my zone on, so I got it on and uh getting ready to go here. So this morning's workout is gonna be the strength workout. And uh what we're gonna be doing is uh, today's workout number 15 so think about it if you've if you have done every single workout that I posted you would have completed 15 workouts after today so you know it's just one of those things are you gonna are you gonna get up and do the workouts or you're gonna do it after work or the midday whatever it is you just gotta you gotta think about when you're gonna do that workout but there's 15 of them guys and then um, Memorial Athletic Club we have over 70, 70, 75 uh, exercise videos for you guys to view. So hopefully you t check some of those out and uh, are taking advantage of that. So I don't see anybody online yet. Maybe nobody's up. I'm not sure what's going on, but I think I've got everything set up the right way where I'm going to uh, be broadcasting this, broadcasting this on a, on a uh, public view. So hopefully there's somebody that will show up or maybe not. That's okay. I'll just go ahead and film it. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to put my glo the the couple things you'll need today for the warm up anyway are uh, gloves for the warm up. Uh, so we can do our crawls, and we're just going to get right into it. I'm going to start with the bear crawl forward. I'm going to go about 15 yards. If you can't go 15 yards, then just go um, the amount of distance that you can. Go. But I would recommend the gloves. And uh, we're going to start with bear crawl. So I'm going to refresh your bear crawl. It's going to be hands down, legs are straight, opposite arm and legs. Movement. You may want to tuck your shirt in. Tuck your shirt in so you don't show everybody your, your abs unless you want to do that. Uh, but I'm going to bear crawl 15 yards, then jog back. Uh, and then I'll go backwards after that. So here we go. Exercise number one, bear crawl. Doesn't have to be fast. Just keep your legs straight and your feet flat. bear crawl going forward. Now we're going to go bear crawl going backwards. So now legs straight, same thing. Keep some weight in the hands and then kind of push yourself backward. You can look in between your legs. Keep your hips up high and try to keep those feet flat. Opposite arm and leg, bear crawl going backwards. That not have to be fast, but it does need to be done right. Alright, good job. Next one is going to be the the spider. Eric, hope you're doing some crawls with me, buddy. So I've already done the forward bear, 15 yards, then jog back, then backward bear, 15 yards, jog back. Now we're going to go spider crawl. And what I'm going to do, um, just because I'm not completely warmed up, I'm going to do a spider crawl, then a, then a push-up. So actually every other one. So just not quite warmed up, so I'm going to take it easy on my shoulders. So. Get into my position, hands wide, feet together, cross the arm over, one, two spider crawls, one push-up, two spider crawls, one push-up. Do that pattern all the way down, 15 yards. So that felt pretty good. So now we're going to do the same thing, but face the other way. Spider crawl, two spider crawls, then one push up, 15 yards. All right, here we go. Getting warmed up already. So spider crawl, spider crawl, one push up.
glad I put my I'm glad I put my Miza on because I can already feel my heart rate going up. Uh, so now let's do the uh, let's do the reach and pull of the rabbit. Reach and pull all the way down. Remember, stay low. Feet out wide. Feet are flat. Hands come out in front, and then just pull yourself in. Go nice and slow. You can modify by not going as deep. Can be here, but if you can get down to get kind of a nice warmed up stretch, hips and glutes, lower back. All right, here we go. Rabbit call, crawling forward, going forward. That was nice. All right, so now let's go rabbit crawl going backwards. So you're gonna plant the hands, then donkey kick back. So look something like this where you're here, and then like kicking back like that, okay? See if you can go 15 yards. Ready, here we go. tough <laughs> so now tiger crawl the king of coordination tiger crawl so top sermon leg one leg up so I've got one leg up one leg back and then I pull into this position okay uh, try to move the opposite sermon leg if you get lost or what position you're in always come back to the start position. So one leg pulls up, gets blocked, boom, right here. Reach the hand up. 15 yards going forward, tiger crawl. Here we go. Try to stay low as well. Crawls never disappoint. The crawls never disappoint. Good morning, Liz and Mark. So you've already missed the forward bear and backward bear jog back. And then you got the uh, spider. Uh, two spiders, one push up all the way down. Then same thing, face the other way. Then I just did the, uh, the rabbit forward, jog back. Backward rabbit down, jog back. Tiger forward, jog back. Now we're on the backward going, uh, moving uh, tiger crawl. So backward tigers. Which direction? Back. Here we go. So remember that down hand has got to push you back. thought of something. Hey, 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 Liz and Mark, that away, that away. Uh, thanks for showing up. Anytime you're ready, just join in. Yeah, you like that? No. <laughs> anyway, okay, so now let's do the, uh, so now we're going to go crab crawl forward, crab crawl forward. So forward motion, keep your hips up high. Got your hips right here. Try not to drag your butt along the ground. We're gonna go forward and then jog back, then go backwards. So facing this way, crab crawl going forward. So 
So make sure you got your gloves on. Otherwise, you're going to tear your hands up. It's a lot more comfortable with garden gloves on. Hips up, crab crawl going backwards. Day out, huh? Nice day. It's not raining. It's not raining. So let's do one more. The last one we're going to do is the frog leap. So we're just going to go down once, jog back, and then we're going to change scene. We're going to go in my backyard, back, and then. Woo. Yeah. Warmed up now. You guys get all that in? So now we're going to do. So I'm going to pick you up, and we're going to go into the backyard, and that's where we're going to do the strength training portion. So the warm up is now complete. Took about uh, only like 12 minutes. So and that's about what a warm up should take. Um, so you guys ready? Let's head to the back. Are you guys still there? I think we lost connection. We lost connection. All right, okay, I'm waving. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna be doing some of the, the strength training portion. A little bit better lighting back here. So. Uh, a couple of things that you'll need for the strength training portion is I've got two chairs already set up. I've got my my steel bar so I can do my inverted row, right? We know this has been my two-go exercise. Hands right here. We're going to do our rows. Overhand, we'll do rows inverted. Get a little more bicep with that. The second option, I also have my yoga mat laid out in the bag. <laughs> I've got two 20 pound dumbbells. I'm going to take one of these out. Uh, I bought these about a couple of years ago for my son, and I'm going to borrow them this morning since he's still sleeping. So I don't want to do 40 pounds. I still got one in there. So I'm just going to use 20 pounds uh, for some of the exercises that we're doing. I also have two big uh, dictionaries. So this is for one of the other exercises. Since I don't have light dumbbells, the 20 are too heavy. Uh, so I'm going to be using these uh, books. Um, and I think that's all you really need. That's all you need. So I really don't have any fitness equipment. I've just got stuff laying around the house that you can use for a pretty decent uh, strength at home workout. Uh, so if you looked at the text, what you'll notice is that now I've got total body block one and total block, total body block two, and then I've got a core section. And so, I know you guys can't see this because it's backwards. Back. Uh, <laughs> so total body, total body block one, you're going to go through that three or four times. I'm just going to go through it once so I don't bore you guys with all the uh, watching me do my reps. Um, what I'll probably do is I'm going to go through this whole thing one time and then it, you'll, you guys will be on your own. And then um, <laughs> anytime I'm ready, I'm ready, Mark. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then... <laughs> So, and after that, then you can go through it on your own, okay? So I'm gonna go through everything right now. Um, exercise number one is a push-up with a slow single arm row. And you have a backpack resisted if you need that. So I'm gonna actually put the, ba the backpack on my back. So I'm gonna apply a little more resistance to my uh, upper body for that. Then we're gonna go into a squat with a sidestep lunge. I'm still gonna be wearing my backpack. Got a single leg bridge. And then we got the chair row. So let me go through each of those one, those exercises right now so you know what they look like, okay? So if you wanna to choose to put a backpack on for the push-up, you can. We're not gonna actually have anything in the arm to do a row with, unless if you have a dumbbell laying around and you wanna do a row with it, by all means, do that. Um, but I'm just gonna pretend like you don't have a dumbbell. I'm gonna go ahead and use it. So I'm gonna have 20 pounds on my back and I'm gonna be doing a single arm row with a 20 pound dumbbell. Got it? All right, so, and I put on there eight to 16 reps. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot to see if I can do 16 of these. Got my backpack. Oh yeah, feels good. So the one thing I notice when you do wear a backpack is make sure it's on fairly snug. Otherwise it's gonna really slide around a lot and you don't want that. They make some really cool, um, weighted vests that uh, 
make it a lot easier. But they're very expensive. So this is another way you can have a, a not such an expensive backpack, uh, weighted vest anyway. So here we go. So I'm going to do my push-up. Now, option one, I do a push-up and then I do a row. So I'm holding myself up with one arm. See that? Push-up and then a row. And that's with just my knees down. Now, of course, the next option is to do it with the knees off the floor. So let's do the push-up together here if you guys want to follow along. So I'm going to do a push-up. I come down, I come up, and then I row. And I switch. That's one. Down, up, two. And when you're holding yourself up, try not to let your body move during that motion. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Yeah, so that was, that was significantly tougher than not having the backpack on my back with 20 pounds extra weight. And then holding yourself up, it does make it tough. This might be a little tight. So I'm gonna loosen up just a tad. Okay, now you can do a squat and then into a sidestep lunge. Hey Mark, I think they're mowing my yard again. It's like the fifth time this week. All right, now, so, to show you what this looks like. I'm gonna do a squat, and then I do a side step lunge, and I do a squat, side step lunge the other way. So, what I've written here is that you wanna do that eight to 12 cycles. So squat, side step, squat, side step, that's one, all right? So, you're actually getting two squats, two side steps to uh, one cycle. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Here we go. So, one, squat, two, that's one. Squat, sidestep, squat, two, squat, sidestep, squat, three, squat, sidestep, Squat, four, squat, side step, squat, five, squat, side step, squat, six, two more, squat, side step, squat, side step, seven, And eight. All right, good. Now, now I'm going to take this off. Whew. That's taking a load off the back, literally. I'm going to move it over here out of the camera's way. So now, I'm kind of sweating already. So, I don't know about you guys, so I really haven't used any machines this whole time, all 15 weeks. Um, and I've been pretty sore. I've actually been pretty sore for some of the, like last, yesterday, this morning I woke up and I was like, yeah, I think I ran pretty hard yesterday. Maybe it didn't look like I was running hard, but I was running hard. And I can feel it. So, Jake's on, Mustafa. Kate, haven't heard you, seen you in a long time. Anyway, uh, let's do single leg bridge next. So, single leg bridge, right here on your back. Your foot's flat. You're going to come up, and then don't touch the floor. So, let's go 15 reps. Two, three, four. Five, try to get the glutes to engage. 
six, glutes right here, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch your legs. Same thing, 15. One, two, three, four, five, six. Really squeeze it up. Seven at the top. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So the other thing that you want to make this tougher is don't have your elbows down here because that can actually help you come up. Keep your elbows here every time you come up. I mean, honestly, try to squeeze your glute as hard as you can. So that's the single leg bridge, 15 each side. Now, we're going to do, uh, actually I said 12, but I did 15. Anyway, so now we're going to go overhand grip, and I put here 8 to 16 reps. So what I didn't write on there, but I want you to try to go to fatigue on this, like almost like as many reps as you can. Um, correctly so I know some of us when we do like a max rep on this thing it's like yeah you'll start swinging so as soon as you have to start swinging then it's over so no swinging even like swinging reps don't count so I'm gonna see if I can get 16 perfect reps with my chair inverted row I love this exercise it's, uh, it's just something I threw together and it works really well uh, so inverted row overhand grip lay on your back sit on your butt first Real important that you get your hands all the way up against the chair, and then you're gonna come up slow. Make sure that the chairs don't dip in on you. All right? And then, now I'm gonna go. Let me see if I can get 16 perfect reps. Two, three, four. I'm trying to squeeze shoulder blades. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Woo! Yeah, those are good. I'll tell you what, that has been my go-to exercise. And if you do a, if you got that set up, you go to fatigue it, it works. I've been sore in my upper back. And so that's not a bad place to be sore to work on those. Sharon, hey Sharon, hope you're feeling good. One of my clients is on. I uh, hope everything's good, Sharon, honestly, I mean that. So now, that was total body, total body block one. You would do that again on your own three to four times total. I don't wanna bore you with watching me do that, you watching me, so I'm gonna go to body, total body block number two. Um, and so what this is, and if you wanted to have your backpack again on your back for this you could do that and then I'm going to show you real quick without the backpack you get into a push-up position and all you want to do is just lift your arm up and then come down tap you do the same side do the same side repeaters and you want to try and do that eight times and then switch sides so I'm gonna try with my backpack on. I got a 20 pound dumbbell inside here. Um, and I'm just gonna lift the lift one arm up, okay? You could do it repeaters or you could switch alternating. I think I think I meant to do alternating, so I'm gonna do alternating. But uh, I think repeaters would be a bit much. So let's alternate, all right? So I'm gonna go with my knees off the ground. I'm gonna try and keep my hips square not letting them teeter to one side. I'm gonna keep my eyes focused in the same spot not let my, and not let my head move around. So when I lift an arm up, a lot of core is gonna work in this chest and this side of the body's gonna have to work like crazy to balance and stabilize me. Here we go. So I'm gonna try and get 16 total reps. Get a wide stance, keep it slow. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Really focus on your pelvis. Don't let it shift. Nine, ten, eleven. A little tougher if the hands are underneath you. Twelve, thirteen, 
14, 15, and 16. Those aren't too bad in the beginning, but they get really tough afterwards. So now I'm gonna keep the backpack on my back and I'm gonna do a forward step to a backward step lunge. And uh, one of those, forward and back is one, we wanna get uh, eight to 12 reps, eight to 12, forward and back is one, forward and back two. I do eight, then to 12 reps, then I do the other side. So I'm gonna move my right leg first, forward and back, eight to 12 times, and I'm gonna go left. Does that make sense? All right, so let me show you from the front real quick. So when I step forward, I don't want that knee crashing in. And then my foot, my weight is in the front leg. When I go to step back, watch. Now my weight's in my front, the other foot, because it's in the front. All right, does that make sense? Let me show you what one looks like. So I'm gonna go here, see if I can get my whole body in the picture here. So I go forward and then back. That's one. Forward, back. Two, the, sink, the further you go down, the more challenging this is going to be. That's three. Whoa, this leg is already starting to feel it. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. I'm going to try to get 12. Nine. Ten. 11 and 12. Oh, yeah. That just burns. That just burns. So now, that was my right leg forward and back. I'm going to go left. Yeah, good luck, right? Here we go. One. One. Two. Two. Three. I'm just barely feeling the, the ground. Four. Five. Six, seven, goodness gracious, <laughs> eight, this one is really fatiguing, nine, is, I don't know if you notice, I'm starting to kind of do a little stop step here, that's ten, that's an option, where you can bypass it going back, eleven, whoo, burning, so, I definitely got some fatigue going in that those quads on that one. Take the backpack off. Now I'm doing a single leg stance, rear delt, with the books in my hand. So get that out of the way. So here's what I what you want to do. Now some of you might need to use a chair for this. So the chair is for your leg. Then you're going to be in this nice flat position. I come up and then come back down. I would go ahead and use the chair, and then the, the more advanced you are, the more you can just barely have your toe touching. The chair is also an option. You may want to keep your foot on the ground. So, but the idea is to get your trunk almost parallel with the ground when you're doing this exercise. Makes sense? I'm gonna kind of do it at an angle so you guys can see it. Uh, and then we're gonna do eight reps Per leg so do eight movements with the arms then switch legs another eight so a lot of leg here a lot of trunk and then try to focus on getting the back of the shoulder the rear delt so I've got my uh, and actually one books a little bit bigger so I'm gonna switch hands after I do my uh, my eight reps so I've got the right hand a little heavier and this is because I don't have any light dumbbells laying around the house because I'm a dumbbell all right <laughs> here we go get the body set here we go. One, and these are, this is plenty heavy. Two, and I'm actually pausing a little bit at the top. Three, see how the books stay flat at the top? Four, lost my balance, a lot of balance on this. Five, six, a little harder, don't come all the way down. Seven, eight, so I'm gonna switch hands and switch legs. Same thing, other side, find the chair with your foot, lightly balance, or maybe don't even have your foot on at all. One, so Diana Trojan is probably not even putting her foot on here. Two, three, she's probably using 20 pound dumbbells. 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Nice. So now I know it's next. It's the inverted row again. But here's what we're going to do this time. This time, you're going to have, instead of the hands overhand, you're going to do underhand. So you get a little bit more bicep involved in this one. So next exercise, inverted row with the reverse grip. Reverse grip. So right here. And again, I'm going to keep my body flat. I'm not going to do any, any cheating reps here at all. Try to stay as strict as you can. Check it out before you come up. Make sure it's in control. Stand still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, Whoa. Ooh, that one was tough, yeah, I love that, that is a great exercise, so now, that is block number one and block number two, and so now, I'm going to go straight to the core section here, because again, I don't want to bore you, and we're in about 35 minutes into it anyway, so I'm really up against my clock, I don't want to take it too long, so now, dying bug, double leg lower and bicycles. Each of these, you notice on the text, I have a three second pause on each rep. So let me show you the dying bug first. Dying bug, actually, I like to have something, a little something, even like my glove, is gonna go right where your lower back is. And I'm gonna show you why. So, I lay back, I'm gonna put this right where my lower back is so now when I come out scoot this way a little bit when I come out to here so when I'm like this the lower back is is kind of curved is arched we call that arching now when I go legs flat uh, I'm sorry when the legs are here the back is flat when I go out like this the back wants to arch and so you want to try and keep that back flat pushing into that glove a little bit all right so now Get into this position here, arms up. This is dying bug. So I'm going to move my right arm and my left leg. I'm going to come out. Some of you might need to stop here because the back is already wanting to arch. So keep pushing into the floor in that glove, and then I come back up. And then the further I go out, the longer I get that leg, the tougher it is. This is the position position where you want to do the hold. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. Come back up. So opposite from the leg. Coming out. One, two, three. So if it hurts your back and you can't stabilize it, then don't don't go straight leg. Go bent leg. So now I'm gonna go right leg, left arm. I have to think about it, right? Come on. There it goes. One, two, three. One, two, three. We'll call that five. One, two. Three, if you really focus on keeping that tight, drawing the navel in. One, two, three. Otherwise, this is not an effect, this is not an effective exercise if you just do something like that fast. So not on this exercise. One, two, three. Alright? So you get the idea. Dying bug. A really effective exercise if you do it correctly. Now, let's go to double leg lowers. So I've got my glove here. Double leg lower. I'm going to put my both legs up. And so now I may need to go here. Bent leg coming down and then come back up. This one's really tough. Some of you might need to do an alternating leg lowering. So the whole concept here is to stabilize your pelvis. Don't let your back arch. Keep it in a neutral position. So if you can't do that, you're going to have to modify it so you can do it. So if I start here, and I'm gonna have my hands here, if I can come down and the back doesn't arch, then this is okay for me, okay? So the lowering speed is three seconds, then come back up. If you can't do that, then you bend the legs. So this is much easier, much easier. 
All right, so you're gonna need to do what's best for you. I'm gonna go ahead and do eight reps, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. So I did a four second lower. One, two, three, and back up. One, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five. Keep your head down as well. One, two, three, six, one, two, three, seven, one more. One, two, three, and eight. So now we're gonna go to the bicycle. And the bicycle that you probably have seen before is something like this, right? Where you're going like that. And just kind of going real fast, not really thinking about what you're doing. So now we're gonna do it a little different, okay? Every time you come in with an elbow, try to touch that knee. You either keep one leg off, keep the foot on the ground or off. It goes straight leg. If you keep it off the ground, it's gonna be tougher. If it's on the ground, it's easier. But your goal is to see if you can get your elbow to the knee. And this is where you're gonna hold for three seconds, okay? That was just tough doing that. All right, all right, here we go. Ready? One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, Eight, let's go two more. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, and ten. Oh yeah, so those are way, way, way more effective. So, hey Matt, what's up man? All right, and uh, so that that is the routine. Um, if you didn't get the text, guys, some of you guys are on live and maybe you didn't even know that I had posted anything, but uh, hopefully you can see that I have posted text. If you want the text, the, um, the written portion of this workout, just message me and I'll be glad to send it to you. And uh, that is it. Now I just went through once. It's your job, you're warmed up. We've done the warm up. Um, and I went through all, both body block one, body block two, and then the core. Now it's your job to go through that uh, two or three more times. Guys, have a great day. I love all you guys. God bless you guys. We're gonna get through this. Take care and make Make Thursday, today, April the 2nd, a really great day. See you later.